All right, welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this one later on. Unfortunately, we've had some technical difficulties here with the beginning of the stream. We were 4-0 and here with Teamer Invention, this deck that we wanted to try out. Uh, we didn't have one first we didn't have time to to finish it yesterday um or we didn't have time to really play it yesterday and so we uh joined with it today and we are four and oh uh so you know doing well with it um and then in the middle of our fifth match my computer crashed so unfortunately the video is gone so we're gonna have a shorter youtube video here with just one match just our our last match that we were playing uh or our next next match we're gonna be playing one more match with the deck here so yeah so this is teamer invention basically our, our deck is uh pretty slow and i was worried about that i was worried that we didn't have an, a good enough removal but to be honest our, our opponents haven't been playing the the best decks and they've been stumbling some and it's been helping us out whenever we have fires of invention in play our deck can really go crazy because we get to cast two spells a turn um as long as the spells have cmc less than or equal to the number of lands we control but as you can tell, we have a really, really high curve. And so if we can cast two four drops, two five drops, two six or seven drops each turn, uh, it still, like that, basically all that extra mana that Fires gives us allows us to catch up. Agent of Treachery was awesome. Drawn from Dreams, Tamio, really good. Same same with a Plain White Celebration. This card has been awesome uh, for us being able to just gain a lot of life or make a bunch of two twos to chump block or start or return these things you know like return tamio and hellkite and chandra and stuff like that ugin back to our our hand even the proliferate like one time like we had to like minus whoops sorry we had to minus three our ugin so it went down to one loyalty then the next turn we had to minus three it again for another really large creature and we just proliferated three times to put counters on it and then returned one permanent back to our hand and then we got to minus three ugin again our sideboard has like some flame sweeps in there <clears throat> for aggro decks and everything. But yeah, here we go. So we'll play we'll play one more match because we were playing a league here and we were 4-0 in the league and then we got disconnected during the fifth match. So we got automatically got a loss for that. So we are either going to win and get five wins or lose and we just get our four wins. All right. So let's uh, give this a try. I was worried about. <clears throat> I was worried that our deck was going to be too slow and clunky and everything like that. That's why we were playing a league. I didn't play it in ranked right away. I was I was a little worried about it. Wanted to at least try it out and everything first, but it honestly worked out pretty well there for us. Sorry, Code Junk. Um, so we can't even cast the Narset right now. I think I may mull. Yeah, I think we're going to mulligan this. I mean, I usually like keeping three lands, four spells with this deck. Ugh, I'd kind of rather have that first. Yeah, I'd rather have the first hand, but I don't want to go down to five. So it's obviously I'm putting back one of the two expensive cards, Chandra or Plain White Celebration. We'll go. We'll get rid of Chandra. Where's more lands? Um, is there any reason to wait on Grazer? Probably not. Or if there's like any reason to like wait and see if we like find more lands where we get actually get the value of putting an extra land into play later. All right, green black adventures. So we have 26 lands in the deck. So this has been kind of kind of unfortunate not finding any any lands with all these cards. It's 
not not good for us. We need a lot of lands. So yeah, Beanstalk Giant is so good with Lucky Clover. I'm jealous. So each creature that has adventure, they get to draw a card. They don't, they don't draw a card for the adventure part, just the creature part. Yep. So all we gotta do is draw red mana. Then we can have red mana. Then uh, fires. Then Tamio. Put thoughtfulness before action. So we put we put one red mana down to the bottom. One blue red source. Down to the bottom. It's unfortunate we lost our first four matches that we played. And instead, um, instead, this is what we got. What's up, Project Vanner? Welcome back. I think this game's over. The moon look to the library. There's not really anything that I can put in my hand, honestly, that helps too much. Obviously, the Tamiyo tick up is just five lands. Or, sorry, four lands. What's up, Gatsby? That's not gonna help me out. My heart beats in unison. That's gonna speed up any kind of clock my opponent has. We're fit enough to survive. <clears throat> There's been some good football games today. Awesome, yeah, like my, you know, of course my, my Hawkeyes had like the, you know, they had the blowout win. Um, More data will be needed. But glad to hear there was other good games. Mm. Alright, so we really can't just, you know, miss so many land drops like we did there. Like that's not, you know, like that's not what our deck can can go through considering we have such a high, high curve like this and everything. Hmm. So last time we played against the green black deck, I played all the Vela Summers. And they were pretty good because like they had like duress, took out the lava coils. They had like, you know, duress, assassin's trophy, even the murderous riders. Uh, especially Murderous Rider with the artifact that can, like, 
kill a whole bunch of things. We could just Veil a Summer to protect from that. Obviously, whenever we have Fires of Invention in play, we don't get to Veil a Summer during their turn. But that's okay. No, I still do. Pickle Slick, yeah, I still really like uh, new sets and everything. Pre-releases are a ton of fun to go to. And, and uh, yeah, no, it's new cards doesn't really wear off the um, getting excited about new cards and everything like that. Thrones been treating me really well so far. Really well. I think Simic Flash is pretty good. I haven't played Simic Flash myself, but it's looked it's looked pretty good from people that have played it. Um, kind of the problem is is green is maybe the best color overall, and so there's lots and lots of Veil of Summers and sideboards. I would much rather have. Um, lands to play than not have lands to play. So this time I'm not going to mulligan. Last time we mulliganed, we just couldn't find any lands, and we had no shot. At least this time we'll hit our land drops and just hopefully top deck kind of well. But at least we can... At least we'll be able to play our spells that we draw. We just have to draw spells. So we'll see. Now, I did just put two spells down to the bottom, but they're just too expensive. No fires. This has been a really good time for a fires. <clears throat> Don't love my options here. Grabbing like multiple draw from dreams is a little slow, but kind of everything here is a little slow. Yeah, there's not really anything in the deck that is fast, to be honest. I mean, Fires of Invention, that is fast. That card's fast. We got one. No. Okay, that's not them casting that card. But still. Quite a good hand for them. With 
the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. That was a really good hand for them. All right, well, that's just really, really disappointing. I'm, I'm sorry for the, to y'all on YouTube. I am really sorry. I speak with soft. the computer problems, we didn't get to have um, a better video than than that. Um, but yeah, the deck looks better <laughs> previously uh, before that. Um, I guess that's all, all to really say about it. I uh, had a couple of pretty bad hands there. Like those were those were definitely the two worst hands we had out of every single game, out of all of the games. Um, you know, so like all four matches, even like the game threes, and everything. Um, those were the two worst matches or the two worst games that we uh, possibly happened or poss possibly had there. So unfortunate, unfortunate for sure. Grazer looked pretty good as far as, like, maybe going to four Grazer. But, you know, if we have a game like that first one there where if you don't have lands, like, we had a Grazer that first time. We didn't have extra lands. Like, you have to have a whole lot of lands for Grazer to be turned on. We had a lot of lands that second game, but then we didn't have the Grazer. Um, so that just kind of happened. Most every game we had either turn three or turn four, like, turn four at the latest, um, drawn from dreams or fires of invention. Most of the time we had it turn three, you know, we had like one of either grazer or, or grow spiral with like the seven of these. Usually we had one and it was turn three, but sometimes turn four, um, like our, our worst hands besides those last ones were like drawn on turn four and then like fires plus something else on turn five and so on and moving from there. But um, those last ones didn't quite do it for us there. Oh, well, um, but that happens anyway. Um, I'll play the, the deck again here in the future. Um, and we'll play other fires of invention decks as well. I know a lot of y'all are excited about Grixis control with fires of invention, how it can, uh, clear up the clunkiness of, um, a Grixis deck that's filled with a uh, ritual of soot Drawn from Dreams, uh, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, Enter the God Eternals, and things like that. So I will, I'll put together a Grixis deck with Fires of Invention uh, in the coming days as well. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, yeah, 4 ones definitely not bad. Definitely not bad at all. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate though for the video that our <laughs> worst two games were those. If... I, um, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you still hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also leave comments. Let me know what you're doing with Fires of Invention. Um, you know, if you like if you like the five color Fires of Invention decks um, uh, that are really relying on having fires in play and so on. If you like the uh, we talked about we talked about like the different, you know, like maybe um Instead of Drawn from Dreams having the uh, the new uh, Fae of Wishes card that allows you to go look in your sideboard for something, and, but you know that's still just kind of one for like you're only getting one card with that, even though you can get something pretty impactful from your sideboard, including you can always you you can have your fourth Fires Invention in your sideboard, so you can always grab it there um, instead of having Drawn from Dreams that gets you two cards, but. I, I was really impressed with Drawn from Dreams helping me hit land drops. That was a lot of, that we were doing. A lot of times we would Drawn from Dreams, grab a land and like one spell, and we'd be able to keep hitting land drops to get to these six and seven mana cards that would take over for us there. Um, X spells, you, X spells are just always zero with, with, um, with Fires of Invention. Um, I, believe yes you can cast the adventure part of cards with fire of invention i believe so um but there we go all right so uh again thank you so much for watching this if you're watching on youtube and i'll see you for the next video